we back. Now today's video, y'all have completely convinced me that y'all want to see me suffer. Because today we're doing a talent that somebody named Killing Kenny? Um, hello? It's basically doing a bunch of stuff that I hate doing. Or doing the anti-rebuild and, uh, uh, I'm not looking forward to it. But 2,000 people like this comment, which means that people want to see it. So, here we go. Now, this was suggested by Bane Boy, so thanks. For real, th thank you for this. Day five of Asa Kenny to do the Killing Kenny Challenge. Just the name alone should tell y'all this is not about to go well. Can't use any draft picks to enhance a trade package. Unless it's a three-team trade. And y'all know three-team trades don't really work out like that. Rule number two, you can't get assets and flip them. That is the motto of this channel. And I can't even do that. Rule number three. Can't use team intel to see which teams are selling slash rebuilding, etc. Yeah, that's something we do in every single video because, I mean, you finesse general managers when they're selling or rebuilding. Can't do it anymore. Number four. Can't use Simcast under any circumstances during the postseason. Y'all know we use Simcast to ease my nerves, ease my anxiety. When my team is down a 3-1, I use Simcast to see us ease back into the series. Not anymore. I think this is rule number five. Can't change a player's default position that 2K has assigned to them in the efforts to increase their overall. So Montrez Harrell can't be a power forward anymore because Bean Boy said I can't do it. And because we do it so much on this channel, I guess y'all kind of getting, getting tired of it. And here's, uh, if you ask me, here's the worst part. Acquire Robert Covington and Cristiano Felicio. They each have to play at least 10 minutes per game. Two of my least favorite 2K players. 10 minutes a game. Oh, um, pause. I just released a KOT for Q meme video on my other channel. Be sure to check it out. Link is in the description. Has a lot to do with Robert Covington and Cristiano Felicio. And basically all the memes of this channel's history. It was super fun. Link in the description. It's fire. You open it up. Next. The highest overall in your started five can't exceed 90. So a lot of budget ballers. Don't run from it, Kenny. I'm going to be here all month. We'll be in, boy. Here I am. I'm accepting your challenge. Uh, the chances of me succeeding, pretty low. But you know what? I'm here for it. Let's get it. So here we are. We got a randomly selected team. This is my time to remind you to leave a like on the video. We continue to get super duper amount of likes. And I want to continue that streak. So leave a like. And we're stopping in three, two, one. We're the Houston Rockets in today's video. Uh, I'm not changing my shirt. I'm not changing my shirt. The Rockets have the fifth pick. Hey. Hey, the Rockets have the fifth pick. Uh, and we could get LeBron, KD, Steph Curry, all these guys, but we're not going to do it. We let our assistant GM do it, and then we retake over the team. Um, I would change my shirt, but that seems like a lot of effort for a challenge. I'm probably going to fail. But we, us having us having the top one of the top guys, we have Kevin Durant on the team, and that is a beautiful thing. Now, look at the rest of this roster. Um, it said our starting five can't exceed. Nobody in our starting five can exceed 90 overall. So he said we're going to have to trade Kevin Durant at the end of the day. Kevin Durant cannot be on this roster. No draft picks to enhance trades. You can't get assets and flip them. Which means that, to me, that means once I trade for a player, he has to stay on the team. So we have to make well thought out trades immediately because there is no flipping assets. So the first thing we got to do is trade for Robert Covington. Let's get that out of the way right now before I forget. Uh, so let's see. Covington. And the worst thing is that we're going to have to keep him at power four. We can't even change his, his position to small force, so they want Jordan Bell, but the, the the challenge also said we can't trade picks. So is there a situation where we could do this trade without giving up a pick? We have to give you another player like Lance Stevenson. Okay, it it didn't matter. We just needed to get Robert Covington on the team, and we did. He's back here in uh, Houston, and now Cristiano Felicio. I think he's probably going to be in free agency because he's bad. Yep, he's in free agency. Let's sign him. That part of the challenge is done. Check. Whew, I feel good. I already got one part done. And the next part is finding a trade for Kevin Durant where we can't have anybody over a 90 overall. So what I'm thinking is that once we we have to get like a trade like this, right? Where we have two players that are under 90, but are still very good. Trade number one does not look bad at all. But remember, if we do trade for Hassan Whiteside, he is stuck on my team for the entirety of this video. So we have to think out these trades very logically. Um, and we can't throw in any picks. So this trade we can't do even because these picks mean nothing to us. Chris Stapps and Brandon Ingram is interesting. Chris Middleton, Clay and Kemba. 
Devin Booker and Bam. I can't do Devin Booker and Bam. Paul George and Wendell. Ah, I can't do this trade either because we can't make Wendell a power forward to make him a 90, I mean, an 84. And we can't flip him either. So he's, he don't have much value. I can't do this trade for the simple fact that uh, I've, I trade for these players so often in videos that I think you guys are getting tired of it. So I'm going to try to stay away from Bam and Devin Booker in today's video at least. Clay and Kemba is very interesting, right? If we do this trade, they are stuck on our team. And we would have to trade Buddy Heald and all the rest of these guys for big men because this trade gives us two players that are in the backcourt. Now, let me make sure I'm going to go over the rules again just to make sure I'm not breaking any rules. And I'm not. So, is this This is the trade. This is the trade. That's the best trade in the trade finder. We're going to take that. And now we have a nice, nice backcourt. Okay. Next trade, we have to... Making trades without picks is kind of tough. The worst part about this is that both of these guys are making a hum a humongous, humongous, <laughs> humongous amount of money. But we do have Boogie here who's also making a big amount of money. So let's flip. Oh, my God. Iggy's on the team. With big we have so many big money players. So let's go Boogie, Buddy, and let's try to get some front court players. I think it's something we can do is go to Untouchables and put all these picks. So none of the picks pop up in a trade finder um, because they'll be on uh, the GMs. And no, oh, we can't get that pick. At least that's what my brain is thinking. A lot of the trades I'm seeing are good trades, but we can't throw in any picks. I was looking at like Brandon Clark. Um, he might stay on the team because he's just he's just overall a solid player. And he can just come off our bench if we need him to. I need to get Boogie off the team. I need to get this Iggy contract off the team. There's a lot of contracts we need to give up. I'm traded for Drummond. We're trading uh, Boogie Cousins and Cal Kuzma for Drummond and Chris Clemens. Short King, stand up. 5'9", guy out of Campbell. I think there was a Mike Krizima video about how great he was in high school and college. And uh, it, made me, it made me feel good to see a short King prospering. Uh, so now we have, um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm saying this very lightly, Big three and players here. And we still have big contracts to trade, man. We still have Patty Mills. We still have Iggy. And we'll throw in Duncan Robinson, young player, and see if we can get. We basically need a power forward at this point and a small forward. Those are the two positions that we're missing. Can we just trade Iggy. I'm sorry. I just want him off the team. Isaiah Thomas, but we can't throw in the pick. There's got to be a valuable trade asset here. Listen, Andre Robinson's overall goes up to an 80 if you make him a small forward, but, uh, you know the challenge. All right, let's bring in Melo. We're going to bring in Melo. Um, Royce O'Neal is also coming to the team. We're just doing this trade because it frees up a lot of money because Iggy's big old contract. And at this point in their careers, Melo's better than Iggy. What, what can I say? At least according to 2K. So if anything, Iggy can just be a backup. Oh, I'm sorry. We have Robert Covington to be our backup because Brandon Clark has started. Uh, right now, our team will look like this. Kimba, Clay, Buddy Hill. We can make some changes there because we literally don't have a small forward on the team. Uh, Brandon Clark and Drummond, not bad. Off the bench, we do still have to get Cristiano Felicio as minutes, but uh, our team is not looking terrible. It is not looking terrible. So let's trade Buddy and a contract. Is there a contract? Ooh, we're going to have to trade Buddy with, like, Patty Mills? Because all some of these other players we traded for, and technically we can't flip those players. So Patty Mills is a good backup but uh, we need to try to see if we can get a better small four. So the trade we're doing is TJ Warren and Tomas Sadoransky. It's the same overall as being flipped, uh, but we just needed an actual small forward on the roster, and TJ Warren is that. So we're looking at Clay, uh, Kemba, TJ, Brandon Clark, and Drummond. Off the bench, we have Rashawn Holmes, Robert Covington, Tomas Sadoransky, and I'm sorry, Duncan Robinson, as much as I would like to see you get minutes, um, part of this challenge is giving Felicio at least 10 a game. So we have to do that. And then, hmm, I guess we can flip Duncan. Man, uh, I want to have Duncan playing minutes, man. We're going to make it an 11-man rotation so we can get Duncan some minutes because he deserves to get some minutes, especially since we don't have a backup wing player in a rotation. So we just need to give like this. And I think this is the, the best this team can get without trading any draft picks, without getting assets and flipping them. When making sure that Robert Covington and, and Cristiano Felicio get 10 minutes a game, this might be the best roster we can put together. Uh, the only player on this roster that I still haven't traded is Brandon Clark. So I'll look at him in the trade finder and see what happens. But I doubt there's going to be anything better than him in trade finder that fits that role at the power forward position because he's cheap. He plays the position well. This would be cool trade, but we can't do it. And yeah. 
think we have to stick with this lineup but let me just double check to make sure i didn't make any trades to deal with first round picks because i mean maybe i forgot no so we did one two three four five five trades is all we did in today's video but i mean what'd you expect as we simulate i'm gonna uh remind you again to leave a like on the video uh the more you leave likes the more people see the videos in the recommended section and we're trying to get to a milli one day i ain't saying it's gonna happen soon uh, we try to get that one day, and we're 70% of the way there at the moment. And the roster we put together, getting a lot of dubs first half of the season. And that is a beautiful, beautiful thing, man. We only got seven losses, 20 wins. The boys are putting together some Ws. So I love to see it. Um, and I don't think we can make any trades because all of these pieces are new pieces to the team. So this is no matter what. If we were 0-37, this is going to be our roster. All right, so Giannis won MVP on the Lakers. Uh, Zion, Marker Carter, Williams, sixth man of the year. That's um, different. That's different in these simulations. Kawhi Leonard, defensive player, your most approved. Luca, coach of your Mike D'Antoni, which is our coach. We did good things, man. We did good things. This challenge wasn't even as bad as I thought it was going to be. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't even as bad as I thought it was going to be. The big challenge is winning the championship, especially the, the fact that we can't simcast, but just to prove that we did the challenge. Cristiano Felicio is on fire, huh? How many minutes, I mean, how many points per game did the boy average? Two, oh, we'll round up for you. Three rebounds, three points a game. Shout out to Felicio. Per 36, the man was averaging a double, double, big man, doing big things. Then we have Robert Covington, who shot 35% from three. Wow. Um, a little less than team than, than league average. But listen, that's a little bit better than he normally does. It just kills me. It kills me that he is an 80 overall three-point shooter. Um his tendencies have him jacking up threes all the time and he just doesn't hit them spot up threes 99 percent <laughs> i don't want him on my team anymore but he's got to be here and he's got to play at least 10 minutes and he didn't he played way more than 10 minutes he played 20 minutes for this roster 20 minutes for this roster and we didn't have any player exceed 90 overall until simulation started and clay thompson got better so once we did the clay thompson trade he was not a 90 overall so we still didn't break any challenges he wasn't 50 40 90 clubs disrespectful he couldn't make his free throw i definitely felt like clay thompson should be a 90 percent free throw shooter i mean 83 percent is pretty good too but i definitely i don't know why in the back of my mind i always thought he was like elite elite first round going against dallas which is a bad first round matchup you know what these are not real rosters. I forgot we did fantasy draft. Okay, so they got uh, Clay. We have Clay Thompson. They have Russell Westbrook and Shea Gears Alexander. All right, let's see how this goes. Will we get out of the first round? We do. We cannot simcast under any circumstance. We're in the conference finals going against the Lakers, Giannis and them. We're up 3 1. This is the talent y'all want to see me do? Let me. I, I, again, I got to double check to make sure I ain't break no rules. We didn't simcast. We didn't. One round left. Dame and CJ are back on the same team. I'm telling y'all, bro. These men are on the same team in like 90% of my rebuilds. Let's go. King. King me. That was actually really, really easy. I thought it was going to be some difficulty to it. Uh, Drummond wins finals MVP with the double-double. I think we put together a well-rounded team, man. We got offense, defense. We got bucket getters. We got rookies. We got it all. And we had Robert Covington and Melo got a championship. So that's fun. Shout out to all my Melo fans out there. And that's all. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a like. Uh, somebody dropped me a difficult challenge. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking for the difficult ones. 